I have had the stove, my wall stove wired, as well as my fan for my head and my two batteries installed on the starboard side so that I would have balance with my outboard that's on my port side and my water tank, which is yucky and has something probably stuff growing in it. I looked in there. Okay, I'm gonna show you the yucky part inside. Well, it's not that yucky now, but inside where the battery was. So here is where the battery was. Oops, let me see if I can tilt that. There we go. That's where the battery was. And now the heavy battery that weighs as much as I do is gone. Uh, well, I weigh a little more than the battery, but anyways, um, the nice strong electricians <laughs> at Pacific Yachting Systems, Pacific Yacht Systems also took out the battery and removed it for me. And a nice little, I'm gonna show you this here. So my nice little um, bus and those are where the fuses are. So where do you see the fuses now? Oh, it's even got a little cover on it. I see. He's labeled them. Oh, this is very exciting. And let me see if I can take off this here. It probably comes off. I don't want to try to do it with one hand. And um, let me see what I can do here. Okay, that was easier than I thought. It just goes like this and you push this little yellow thing. The lid comes off and you see the fuses here. So right now it's a, there's only the head, which is this red one there. Mm -hmm. The pink one is, I have to see, sort of follow it through, but he put three of them are fused versus non-fused. And one is the head fan. One is the Wallace stove. And another is the cockpit controls, I believe. But anyways, that means that they're not on the battery switch. Um, they're fused, so they're off if I take a fuse out, for example. And I think I know what I'm describing. <laughs> Whereas when I turn this on, it turns on all my lights and everything else. Whereas the things that I want to run probably 24-7 would be my blower lid of my heater, or excuse me, of my stove, which is also my heater, and my fan head, and one more thing. I think it was a tiller pilot, so I will check that. And yay! See all those nice wires over there? It just looks so good. Um, and then everything's all tidy here. And yeah, so I see what they've done and how everything works now. And now I just get to clean it out a little bit more. I've got new bilge pump hose because as you can see, that one there is had um, is old and probably has never been replaced and also has a little round, the little sort of gasket there is a little bit, obviously has, having a problem. So, oh yeah, battery panel. I have to probably rename something. I decided to leave the pressure water sink for now only because I think it might be something I would like later um, and it's already there but anyways those are all the labeled things I'm going to tidy up the labels and this here is my VHF that was with the boat when I bought it and it seems pretty good but it was wired so it went right in the side here and I see he nicely put it in there and then had it go down there so that was very nice for the electrician with Pacific Yacht Systems Jeff Cote and his team, who I watched a million of their videos and thought, oh, I can do this. Uh, <coughs> not. But anyways, this is where my Wallace stove is going. And for now, they wired the parts for it. In here is my, I have to do a lot of little cleaning and stuff, but in here is my um, pump for the water and for the faucet, I mean, for the water tank to draw water my little bag of rags and my lovely Groco scary through hole that when you open it up oh yes a little bit of water will seep out cause you heart failure anyways um, this water tank is the one I'm gonna change the lid to everyone's like oh no don't change it it should be plywood Ugh. anyways there's my Wallace stove 
which is going to fit right there. And, oh, I see he tidied up some of my wires. Look at that. So right in here, you see some vertical... Get my light on the... Yeah, you see the white, uh, or the, excuse me, the wires in there. And he ran some underneath the side deck, which I'm going to get some material for to cover the side deck. And put, um, as you can see here, all this material, or this here, I'm going to cover with a t just a light version of carpet. So anyways, I digress. So let me show you underneath the cockpit now. Okay, I'm going into my head compartment. You will see my hose for the head um, vent actually. So it's a little fan, it's like a little computer fan and it's actually running 24 seven when I put the little fuse in. I've got the fuse out now because I've got to set something up on deck for it. Okay, I'm going out into the cockpit and right now the fan is right here. You can see it right down in here. This was the waste hole and I took that out uh, and I sealed all this with fiberglass. I might touch it up one more time and then I'm going to put some kind of clamshell over it. Um, something I can probably close off because I can take this off on a um, fuse and then have it off if I'm you know offshore not using it. And so in the meantime there's my battery charger and ta-da! There are my batteries and you can see uh, the <laughs> pooper tank, <laughs> holding tank slash uh, indentation in the hull was nicely cleaned out and then painted with bilge paint about four coats and um, I'm probably I might touch up a little bit more and make it look really good. But in the meantime, that's where my batteries are, nicely tied down. They're AGM, so they're non-serviceable. They will not leak if they're upside down. They're tied down nice and tightly. And I've got all the proper things because I had Pacific Yacht Systems install it all for me because I wanted to be, have it done right. right. So anyways, I'm gonna be starting it up tomorrow and taking my boat over to the new slip. So I'll have to film it when I'm in the new slip. I'd probably will go out sailing and then take it and slip, but anyways, okay, thanks for listening, bye!